Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday announced that India has become the fourth country in the world to hit a satellite in space with an anti-satellite missile as part of its mission Shakti. DRDO scientists successfully carried out the test from the APJ Abdul Kalam Island Launch Complex near Balasore in Odisha. कुछ ही समय पूर्व हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने अंतरिक्ष में स्पेस में 300 किलोमीटर दूर एल ई ओ लो अर्थ ऑर्बिट में एक लाइव सैटेलाइट को मार गिराया है ESATs are space weapons that are designed for destroying other satellites for strategic and military purposes. All modern militaries depend on satellites for virtually everything they need to do in case of a war, to find targets, to guide their troops, to have secure communications. And by testing an anti-satellite weapon, India has proved that in case of a war, it can knock out the satellites of an adversary rendering that adversary effectively blind at a time of war so far america russia and china possess the anti satellite technology india is the latest entrant to join the elite club of nations that have mastered asat missile technology there is a very small club of countries that have this technology and india wants to demonstrate Uh, that it's in that club and that it's going to shape the rules of weapons in space uh, as and when negotiations begin but there's also another subtle message going out if you can knock a satellite out in space you're moving close to be able to knock out ballistic missiles in space and india is going to be showing that it not only has an anti satellite capability but is heading towards an anti ballistic missile capability which means it will be able to protect itself from nuclear weapons launched by other countries it's a feather in drdo's cap the 1967 outer space treaty bans the use of weapons of mass destruction in space basically nuclear weapons the earliest generation of anti satellite weapons uh, that were conceived of in the 1950s you know basically going to use a nuclear bomb to blow up another satellite that was banned but it's not illegal to use conventional weapons in space uh, there are a lot of countries pushing for a treaty that would make the use of such weapons illegal but there isn't one just now The missile and the anti-satellite technology in this mission were indigenously developed in a first for India. It tells us what we already knew that DRDO and ISRO have made fantastic strides in our indigenous uh, missile program over the years. We know this, we've been able to put uh, missiles in precision targets and we've been able to send a mission to the moon. Unfortunately, the big problem is while we're very good at designing these highly sophisticated projects, we still drag behind when it comes to designing the simplest things like guns or vehicles, tanks, aircraft. Uh, there's some mismatch in the Indian science and technology and defence sectors uh, that this government and future governments will really have to work at addressing. This means we can do it, but we need to do it on much, much more than missiles. Mission Shakti demonstrated India's ambition and footprint both of which are growing in space technology.